to run that word in 80. Yay! Megan's like, what are we doing? I'm trying to eat. <laughs> this week we watched Meet the Robinsons. Woo! This is actually one of my favorite movies. It's pretty good. It's very underrated in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so Meet the Robinsons came out in 2007. Are you ready for the amount of adjectives used for this movie? Computer animated science fiction comedy film. It's not as bad as some of the other ones. It was released by Walt Disney Pictures on March 30th, 2007. It was the 47th Disney animated feature film. It was loosely based on characters from the children's book A Day with Wilbur Robinson by William Joyce. So they originally titled it, instead of Meet the Robinsons, they named it after the book A Day with Wilbur Robinson. And production actually began in June 2004 and was scheduled for a 2006 release. While the film was production, Disney announced on January 24th, 2006 that it would be acquiring Pixar. And as a result, John Lasseter became the chief creative officer of both Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios. When he saw an early screening for the movie, he told the director, Steven Anderson, that he did not find the villain, the villain scary or threatening enough and suggested that he make some changes. 10 months later, almost 60% of the film had been scrapped and redone. The villain had improved and was given a new sidekick, a dinosaur chase had been added, and the ending was changed. Hmm. Rotten Tomatoes reports that 66% of critics give the film positive <coughs> reviews. The site's critical consensus states Meet the Robinsons is a visually impressive children's animated film marked by a story of considerable depth. The film grossed over $25 million on its opening weekend following behind falling behind Blades of Glory and totaled over its entire theatrical run 169 million worldwide. Wow. So it really opened number two behind Blades of Glory? Yeah. Really, people? I know. Disney Toon Studios originally planned to make a sequel to the film tentatively titled Meet the Robinsons 2 First Date. However, when John Lasseter became Walt Disney Animation Studios' new chief creative officer, he called off all future sequels Disney Toons originally planned, including sequels to Chicken Little and The Aristocats, and refocused on spin-off films and original productions. So if you wanted a sequel to The Aristocats, you can blame John Lasseter. <laughs> In his custom shirts. So I've already said that Meet the Robinsons is one of my favorite films. And I said it was good. And he said it was good. So what is it about Meet the Robinsons that we love so much? Lewis is a very quirky little guy. <laughs> what are you doing? Likes to invent things and make things and tear stuff apart in order to make other things. And I can kind of relate to that. Yeah. He also really likes to dream. And so I... You can relate to that. I can relate to that. But I think even broader than that, I think his longing for family like that's his why you know what I mean mm. so he doesn't just build things just to build things he builds things that really speak to him and, and things that he's passionate about okay so we have kind of a quirky activity that we did this week so this week's activity actually kind of got its origins a while ago um, I kind of accidentally stumbled upon a YouTube channel called Draw with Jazza. Mm -hmm. He's an Australian guy and funny and does a lot of cool drawing challenges. But then he did a collaboration where he drew a big axe yeah. and then sent it off to another YouTube channel. Uh, couple that has their own YouTube channel that actually makes props. Yeah, their, their thing is punish props and they make all sorts of things, especially with foam. And I think that they have a book that even talks about how to make props with foam. Like they're they're legit. <laughs> and we obviously love watching that because it teaches us new techniques and um, ideas for how to build certain things. And through them, they now have like a Facebook group. They call themselves the Prop Tarts. <laughs> and those people have a, had a challenge where um, you actually had to create a lightsaber out of things that you only found at a dollar store or, or you know Target or whatever, but obviously you can get more things uh, at the dollar store for less money. And you had, I think their set amount was $10 a person. And so um, we kind of took that idea and decided that we were going to have a science fair <laughs> where we had to create something 
out of things that we found at a dollar store. It turned out interesting. <laughs> All right, we're at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> the goal, five dollars each. We have to find something that will eventually become our science fair exhibit. Invention. This is basically our version of Junkyard Wars where we go through, find a bunch of crap that we stick together and make something cool. Yeah. And then this is Reagan completely passed out with her head like this. So we're going to try not to wake her up. <laughs> so they already got Christmas stuff out. A little ridiculous. Okay, so I found my first item. These pumpkins have little light up things in them, so I'm going to take the light out part and do something with it. Aww. Ooh. I really like this gelatin one. That's pretty cool. Craft sticks. <laughs> Looking at the dog stuff. <laughs> and I got this for the motor. First step is going to be to cut the bottom off of this around the feet and take this handle off. Well, those can get out of the way. And I'm going to start off with my mouse traps. I only need one. Now I need Fun tip. The discarded half of a ping pong ball works great as a hot glue gun catch. So the next thing I need to do is I need to prep my gelatin mold. I need to cut this lip thinner. I know those eloquently worded. Eloquently worded. <laughs> okay, so the next key component is I gotta fit my hole bring a little bit better. So as you can see, I did grab a board out of my scrap pile and secured my mouth trap to said board. I'm also going to go about shoring up this stick a little bit on the back side of my ping pong ball by adding several layers of sticks. So, I just 
just remove the center piece using my pin sticks. So now there's no safety. Ha, ha. I'm mostly happy with how that turned out. I think I'm gonna trim it a little bit so that the light isn't showing. But there you go. Okay, my next task is to get my brain glued in on the inside. So as you can see, I have now attached my popsicle stick ping pong ball to my mousetrap. Okay, so are we guessing what are these what each other's making? You're making some type of like brain monster helmet. Brain monster helmet. <laughs> I think you're making a dog treat thrower. <laughs> Jared's is easy to guess, I think, if I'm correct, because in his brain, it actually has to work. <laughs> in my brain, it can just be an imaginatory toy. <laughs> Everything from the movie that he makes is like these crazy inventions, but they all do something. It's not just like table stuff. Yeah. And my invention, I believe, is something that he would actually make if he were in real life. Reagan has decided to help. These are the conditions I'm working in, people. Although she is cheating because she's using stuff we didn't get at the store. <laughs> okay, my next step is gonna be a little tricky. I gotta dismantle this fan and I have to dismantle this pumpkin. Wish me luck on the glitter. <laughs> I'm going to be finding black sparkles in my clothes for the next eight years. <laughs> Alright, so now I am taking some popsicle sticks and cutting them at slightly different lengths. And then I cut some more lengths of these orange popsicle sticks. Okay, so I'm attempting to mount this in here. I might have to trim part of this brain away, but it eventually will stick out here and the propeller will be on this side. <laughs> Good, thanks for that lovely chuckle. I still have no idea what you're making. You're gonna be blown away by my creativity, babe. Is that because you're gonna mount a fan on your head? <laughs> yes, that's why. <laughs> I've got a mounted working fan. Yay! <laughs> okay, so my next step is I'm gonna be taking my propellers and I'm going to be trying to mount them across the front. And the point is that this propel this fan's gonna do the first propeller, which is gonna make the second propeller spin, which is gonna make the third propeller spin, etc. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I am almost done. So, I got all my propellers mounted, but my idea to make all the propellers move with the fan did, did not work. But it looks cool. That's what counts, right? <laughs> Okay, probably my most challenging part of my project is getting this light out of this pumpkin. I don't really know how I'm gonna do that. I do know that I'm gonna get glitter everywhere. Stay away. <laughs> As you can see, all the sticks got latticed together. And then the whole thing got glued to the base. And then that makes the popsicle stick. Stop! Now, originally I was going to use the picture hanging kit for this, but I actually was able to bend the leftover wire. Dum da da dum dum da da dum 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 da dum dum. I have to provide my own epic music. Test one. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Ready, Dessies? 
Not a lot of up. A lot of that way. <laughs> but they launch it very effectively. <laughs> that just wants to do another test. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Prototype Mark II. Go over there. Ready? <laughs> so if your dog likes having a fastball thrown at them at about 100 miles an hour. Welcome to the, <laughs> welcome to the first annual or maybe last annual <laughs> Egg Lily Science Fair. <laughs> Jared, would you like to explain yours first? I would. <laughs> I have a mini catapult dog treat launcher. <laughs> There we go. That. Okay. We take said dog treat. That is, are you gonna get something? We alert said puppy. She's, she has been <laughs> alerted. <laughs> I'm you <dying>. ready? <laughs> go over there. Go. Ready? To the back door, probably. <laughs> it went right here. It went right there. Duchess, come here. There it is. Good girl. Are you ready for my invention? It's quite the invention. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, when I thought about what we were going to be doing, I was trying to solve a problem that I always have. And the issue I always have is I can't remember what I was going to say or what I was going to do if I go to like another room. <laughs> Don't we'll, like that we'll, we'll get through this eventually, folks. Just hang in there. So this is my version of the remember all from Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, so when okay. you need to remember something, you turn it on and you put it on, you think about what you need to remember and it'll remember it for you. <laughs> as long as you don't cut your fingers off when you're trying to hold it on. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my remember <laughs> all. That's awesome. And you know, if nothing else, you can blow people away with your remember all hat. Hey, it lights up, okay? It does. I'm very impressed. You have movement and light show. That's pretty... Mine just moves. Dog loves it. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> All right, folks. Well, thanks for joining us this week. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed uh, watching us make fools of ourselves. And uh, as always, until next week, we'll see y'all soon. <laughs> His daddy's singing too. Uh, 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 we got three part harmony going on in here. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>